Welcome back to Battle Structures and if you are new to my channel, my name is Christabel and I'll be taking you through force method today. We started with some examples on force method which was this and we also solved, we went through these examples but I didn't complete it and today I would love to complete it. Finally, I'm going to complete it in the fourth video. <laughs> Okay, so um, we in the last video, what we did was we found delta 1, 0, and the next task is to find delta 1, 1, to later find the redundant force, which is x1. So let's see what, what do we have to do. We have to find delta 1, 1 now. So delta 1, 1, as we wrote above, is equal to delta 1 1 a for the first a part plus delta 1 1 b okay so if you don't know what what is going on please try to watch the previous video i made and try to catch up with us okay so let's continue we want to find delta 1 1 and what it means is that we are going to multiply m1 times l m1 by using the table. So let's go up to the table. But first, um, for A, we notice that we have a constant moment diagram. So for A, we have a constant times a constant moment. So let me draw it out here. So for A, we're going to multiply a constant moment by a constant moment. So let's go back to the table and let's see what we have. The formula for a constant moment um, is that, first let me clean all these things. So a constant, so a constant moment times a constant moment is going to give me this times that is going to give me L times I times K. Okay, let's apply that formula to this to find delta 1, 1 for section A or part A. So we have five times i negative 1 times negative 1 times 1 over e i which is the rigidity of part a and this is going to give me 5 over e i what about part, part b so in part b let's see what we have the shapes of our moment diagram for moment diagram M, we have a triangle, so it's going to be a triangle times a triangle. So this times itself. So here I have a triangle. Let's see, it's going to be that times itself. So this is negative 1, that is also negative 1. Oops, let me undo that. Okay, this is negative 1. Then this times itself. Let's go to the table and look for the formula. So we have this times this. If you notice, I'm picking this times that, which is 1 over 3 L I K, not 1 over 6 L I K because the maximum of these two triangles are on the same side. That is why I picked 1 over 3 L times I times K. So let's apply this formula to, to the part B. So here we have delta 1 1 B becomes equal to 1 over 3 times L is 3 times i times k which is negative one don't forget the rigidity divided by the rigidity which is 2ei okay 2ei was defined in the beginning of the question so don't just wonder where it came from so try to watch the first part of the the solutions of this question so let's continue this is going to give us this is going to give us um, 1 
1 over 2 EI positive. So let's try to add it up to find delta 1, 1. So here delta 1, 1, which is delta 1, 1, A plus delta 1, 1, B is going to give us 5 plus 0 0.5, which is 5.5 over EI. So applying this equation, this equation right here, the compatibility equation we found, this one, we are going to find x1. So let me write it again. Delta 1, 0 plus delta 1, 1 times x1 equal to 0. So we found delta 1, 0 to be negative 80.625 over EI. Let's write it here. Negative 80 point 625 plus over EI plus 5.5 um, over EI times x1 equal to 0. So x1 is going to give us, we notice that EI is same for the whole structure, so they cancel out. x1 is going to give us was 14 point, point six six. Okay, so here our redundant force x1 is equal to 14.66. To draw the moment diagram, the next step we have to we have to consider is using superposition. So we're going to superimpose m0 plus m1 times this x1 to find to obtain the final moment diagram so here what i'm doing is um i'm trying to multiply m0 i'm trying to add up or superimpose m0 to m1 times x1 which will give me the moment diagram of the statically indeterminate structure m final you notice that the, the M final I have here is not the primary structure. It is the, the structure in the question that was given, which is a statically indeterminate structure. So here, let's continue by, by using superposition, considering it section by section. So let's say section 1, which is this part. M0 is 0, so for section 1, I have M0 plus M1 times X1 gives me the moment at section 1 for statically indeterminate structure. So here it's going to give me 0, M0 has section 1's moment equal to 0 plus what about m1 m1 is negative 1 so i'm going to write negative 1 times x1 what did we find for x1 14.66 so i'm going to write 14.66 equal to this gives me negative 14.66 so it means that section 1 which is this part section 1 my moment for the statically indeterminate structure is negative 14.66 so i'm going to draw it here negative 14.66 okay so what about section 2 section 2 we have m0 equal to positive 25 so i'm going to write 25 plus what is m1 at section 2 Okay, just a remind, reminder, section 2 is here. This is 2, and that is also 2. So at section 2, for M1, we have negative 1 times X1, which is 14.66. And this is going to give us 10.34. All these are in kilonewton meter kilo newton meter so at section four 
sorry, at section 2, we have positive 10 points 34 kilonewton meter, which is inside. So from here to here, I'm going to draw a straight line, okay? This is linear because there's no distributed load in the question at part A. What about section 3? Section 3 is right here. This is section 3. So for section 3, what have we got? What is M0? M0 is 25 plus M1 at section 3 is negative 1. So times X1, which is also, which is positive, 14.66, equal to also 10.34 kilonewton meter. So at section 3, which is this side, I have a positive. So positive is inside. This is 10.34. Okay, what about section 4? At section 4, I can directly say M0 is 0 at this part, and also M1 is 0, so it makes M the final moment diagram at section 4 equal to 0. So I have short dashes plus because I have a distributor load, I'm going to add on top of it the second order parabola. Okay. So that's it. That's our final moment diagram for the statically indeterminate structure. All what you need to learn is the superposition, how to superimpose the moment diagrams and also how to write your compatibility equations. These are like the most important parts of the question. So after you are done with the moment, the final moment diagram, you can check whether this final moment diagram is correct or not. You can perform a check, a check at connections, for example, at this side, the sum of moments at this connection has to be zero. Or you can write one extra compatibility equation to check whether your final moment diagram is correct or not. Okay, let's try using a compatibility equation to solve or to check whether this is correct or not. So, um, to check whether your final moment is diagram is correct, I'm going to just multiply my moment diagram I obtained when the redundant force was equal to 1 times my final moment diagram. So, using the tables, I'm going to take the shape of the moment diagram on each part of the structure and multiply them, this has to be equal to zero, always. So yeah, that's what I can tell you about it. Let's, maybe I can just write part one for you. So let's say for part one, sorry, part A of the structure, we're going to have a trapezoid times a constant moment. Here you're going to have negative 14.66 and here you're going to have 10.34. For this you're going to have negative 1 and this is also equivalent to that on the table. So all what you need to do is find a trapezoid on the table times a constant moment diagram that is going to give you part one and for part two or part b of the structure we're going to have so with this you can easily find multiply these and sum them up sum part a and part b out and you if you get zero using the tables you're going to confirm that your final moment diagram is correct. Thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe and don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to hit the notification button. Thank you so much. Bye.